This tutorial video looks at how to switch between radians and degrees on the Casio FX83 GTCW calculator and it's the same steps for the FX85. We're going to look at four examples. We're going to look at two converting degrees to radians and then we'll have a look at two examples where we're converting radians to degrees. So let's get started with the first one and we're going to look at converting 360 degrees to radians. So when thinking about these questions, always think about the form your answer is going to take. So in this question here, our answer is going to be in radians. So I need to set my calculator to radians mode. To do that, turn on your calculator, select the uh, calculate form and click on OK. Then select settings. Scroll down to calculator settings. So it's the first one, arrow to the right. Then select angle unit, scroll to the right, scroll to radian and click on the OK tab. We now want to go back to the main screen. So click on home and click on OK for calculate. You'll now see a little or up the top, meaning your calculator is in radians mode. To convert 360 degrees to radians, simply just type in 360. Come up the top and click on catalog. Scroll down to angle arrow to the right, then select degrees by clicking on OK. You'll now see the symbol beside the 360 degrees and to convert that to radians, click on equals. So we've now converted 360 degrees to 2 pi. Looking at converting 45 degrees to radians. So my calculator is already in radians mode now. So I just type in 45. Sorry, I just need to clear that now. So 45 is what we're trying. So four, five, click on the catalog, scroll down to angle, arrow to the right, select degrees, okay. And 45 degrees and press on equals, will convert it to one over four pi or pi over four. So that's the first two examples. We're going to go in the other way now. We're going to convert radians to degrees. So this is example three, convert pi to degrees. Now again, we need to think of the form our answer is going to take. Our answer is going to take the form of degrees. So we need to set our calculator to degrees form. Easiest way to do that now would be to just reset your calculator. So go to settings, scroll down to reset because the reset form will be in degrees. So I'm gonna click on settings and data and reset okay. And then I go to my main screen and you'll see it's back in degrees mode. So just make sure your calculator is set to degrees mode when you're converting radians to degrees. So to input pi on our calculator, we press the shift key and then the number seven, you can see the pi symbol is in blue. So click on seven. You don't need to press equals. So when your pi is input into your calculator, go up to the catalog, scroll down to the third one, or sorry, the fourth one angle, and we select radians. So we will have pi radians, click on the OK. And then to turn that into degrees, we press on our equals. So pi in radians will convert to 180 degrees. Our final example is convert two over three pi to degrees. So we select on the fraction key. First of all, we're going to input two pi. So press on the shift and seven to get the pi, arrow down and input three. Now it's important that you arrow out of the fraction. So don't leave it with the little flashing indent here at the tree, just arrow out of the fraction. So our complete fraction is two pi over three. Now select on the catalog, scroll down to the fourth one angle, click on okay or arrow right. And then you're converting radians. So we select radians, click on okay. So two pi over three radians, press your equals, is converted to 120 degrees. So that's four examples of converting between radians and degrees on the new Casio calculator. 